tent. Yo, check it out. Pierre's Jerry Curl just melted. <laughs> At least we graduated Chicken Man. That fool's got to be swimming in sweat. At least no one can see who he is. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> He's the product of a mixed marriage. His mother was a linebacker and his father was a corn-fed chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Surf's up! <laughs> Come on in, Wayhead! He can't! That shoe's gonna rest up! Shoe? Dang! That thing's so big, I thought Free Willy was in the house! Uh-oh! Somebody said something about the Herman Munster shoe! Ooh, stand back! Snap, fat mouth. So you want to get real, huh? Well, let me tell you something about you and yourself. You're so ugly, your mama's got to pin a pork chop to your shirt just so the dog can play with you. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of your mama, she's so fat, when she gets on the scale, it says to be continued. Which is why I guess your no account low life daddy spent so much time in jail so he won't have to look at your ugly face and our big old butt. Okay? Your turn. <laughs> I went too far. Man, Wayne Head, you gotta stop being so oversensitized about your foot. <laughs> Mama, last night I felt it straightening out. It was a miracle. And when I woke up, my foot was normal. I swear, I don't think I need to wear this big old shoe ever again. Well, here goes nothing. Mama? Damien, good, you're dressed. Today's your semi-annual appointment with Dr. Hendy. But... No, no, no buts. Now move your butt. Doesn't hurt. How does this feel? Fantastic! Doesn't even feel like I have a foot. See? I'm all better. All worse, I'm afraid. His foot has become insensitive to pain. But... Don't worry, little tiger. We're going to adjust your shoe. In the meantime, I've got a loner for you. A loner? Done, Davy. And don't forget to change the oil every 5,000 steps. <laughs> A little orthopedic humor there. Ew. Ew. Wait, Yo, you best watch where you going, shrimp. Who you calling shrimp? Yo, skinny little butt. You could hula hoop with a cheerio. <laughs> Don't start with me. And I want to send you home crying to your mama. My mama? Let's talk about your mama. She's so old, the police asked for ID, she pulled out a rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say much about your mama. She's a saint. A Saint Bernard. <laughs> Boy, 
but your yum yum mama. Uh. Your daddy's so dumb. He went to the gap to get his teeth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, what about that cripple people shoe you be wearing? <laughs> Chitlin' eating, basket weaving, ball head, no neck, mongoose self. Take your sorry butts and dentists and fix those raggedy, jaggedy yellow teeth. They make your breath stick like you've been chewing on rocks, blocks, and my dirty old gym socks. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Ooh, I got my teeth from my mama, man. Now I'm gonna have to whoop your butt. You can't mess them up now, Byron. You're already late for that fight with Junebug. But what about Wednesday? Wednesday, you give Roshan a bloody nose. Thursday, you break a shoe off in Tyrone's butt. Friday, we steal some milk money. What about Sunday? Mm -mm, not good. Sunday, I have Bible study. Mm, and I got an opening one week from today. I'm going to black your eye Monday, 3 o'clock. Me and my big mouth. But dang, if that old monkey by injury of mine don't keep flaring up. What way here needs is a little training, like in those Rocky movies. Training? Yeah, that's it. I'm dead meat. Move it out, huh? Don't forget your toothbrush. I refuse to spend the rest of the fourth grade with a boot up my butt. Yo, little bro, if you want to win that fight, you need a kung fu master. Yeah, I need a 20 megaton bomb, too. But dang, if Mo's dad wasn't fresh out. Well, I could tell you where to find a kung fu master, but you gotta promise to clean my bathtub ring for a week. Hey, I clean with my tongue if you help me win this fight. Man, you are desperate. Nervous? No. I might be able to beat Byron. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, but uh, in case of a mishap, I drew you up a will. Of course, I get your do the right thing poster. Can I have your comic book? Yo, Wayne had promised me those comic books four years ago. Actually, according to the will, those are mine too. Teach me the mystery of your art. Uh, okay. First, uh, you wash Fifi. How's a mutt gonna help? Mental condition. You look in the dog's eye and show no fear, then you look in Byron's eye and show no fear. If you say so. N nice doggy. <laughs> Wait, 
you may hit Trey. Man, he must be getting dangerous by now. <laughs> hey, Mr. Potato here. Mr. Mass Potato here. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, fools. My boy's a train killer. <laughs> Only two days away. I'm taking bets on you, killer. Byron thinks he can take you, but I told him he's about to get beat down. Well, you didn't have to. Yeah, okay, show us your skills. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Show us skill. your skills. Show us your stuff. Show us your training has made you tougher than, uh, tougher than. Well, my skills must be pretty good by now. I should be able to bust that plank. Wait, what's your nickname? You can't break nothing without a nickname. Master, you're supposed to give me a name. You know, like Grasshopper. Okay, you cockroach. I'm cockroach. Yeah! Ah! Oh, I'm not training and you can't even do the basics? You pathetic. You better ask for a cash refund and buy yourself some Blue Cross. I thought you were teaching me Kung Fu. Oh, you wanted a Kung Fu master. Ha, I am Tune Up Master. A Kung Fu master is my brother. He's on vacation in Toledo. Sorry. Dang, now what I do? I wasted a whole week. Now I can't even make a fist. Byron's gonna kill me. Why don't you just bend into my whole body? That way I can hide inside it like Chicken Man and no one will know who I am. No, man, this is Mo you talking to. I've always got your back. Really? Let me get this straight. Instead of fighting, Wayne Head and Byron have a dozens contest. That's right, because as you can plainly see, my man's hand here has suffered a most unfortunate malfeasance of bad juju. Then, if I win, I get to mess him up and humiliate him? That's right, bro. Because after you pound him, Wayne had to wear your underpants on his head for a whole week. But... <laughs> Deal. You guys must to be my boys. You have to help. I need the 411 on Byron. So what you saying is you need Byron's dirty laundry before you wind up wearing it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried about Wayne Head? When it comes to the dozens, your mouth is classified as a lethal weapon. Hey, so booby down! I'm not taking any chances. Nah, that ain't it. Not embarrassing enough. Whoa, too smelly. Break out! Here comes Byron! <sighs> Mo! I can't help it! I have burritos for lunch!
Why? I'm sleeping. Hey, Chucky but funky. Aw, oh, your mama's so nasty. I caught her on the phone and got an ear infection. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, your mama's so dumb. She climbed a tree to become a branch manager. Oh, your mama's so cross-eyed. She dropped a dime and picked up two nickels. Yeah, but your, your mama's so dumb. We got Your shoe is so big, you can't walk without kicking your own butt. A truce, chicken man. Yo, you, you you got me mixed up with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to work. I'm rich. Oh. Get it, man? Your job is like my shoe. I figure we're fellow fashion victims, bro. So I'm letting you off the hook. That's really cool of you, man. So uh, you you the only one that knows about this? The only one. Then I guess I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh! Grant your wish and say no more shoe. But I'm only a doctor, not a genie. <laughs> That's cool. Actually, this house shoe isn't as bad as I thought it was. In fact, my life could be a whole lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> 